our next guest, many refer to as a renaissance man. He is Cameron Washington, lifestyle expert, brand consultant, event planner, and much more. Join us as Cameron shows us how to live life with style and detail. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about cross promotion. Sure, cross promotion is big nowadays. It's a way for businesses, especially new businesses, to piggyback off the energy of a lot of already successful businesses. Can we talk about that a little bit? Absolutely. Um, I definitely think that that is one of the main ways that any business will be successful is you have to uh, think of ways to connect with companies that already have a very strong following or have tapped into a way to really market a successful um, business or enterprise. Uh, so I really think the first thing is to network. That's the only way you're going to meet people and to be able to connect with them. And you have to have a clear understanding of what it is you can offer their demographic in order to make these connections. It has to be a win-win. Um, but I definitely think cross-promoting in any way is going to escalate your clientele or your business because you're going to be able to reach people that maybe you normally wouldn't have. But because you have this connection to other businesses and that tie-in, it's going to allow them to feel comfortable with you as a brand. Okay. That, that makes a lot of sense. As a fashion consultant, uh, does that give you access to, to clothing lines uh, before it gets out to the public? Absolutely. Um, a lot of times it does give us definitely great access, um, not even just before it comes out to the public, but period. Some things that may never come out to the public, they may be exclusive pieces. Um, definitely, and again, it goes back, back to um, cross promotion and reaching out to people and being able to network so that you can say, you know, let me uh, give me access to this new collection or this brand so that you know I can put it on this person that is a public figure or maybe seen in a magazine which again not only brings recognition to you as a stylist but to the designer as well so of course there are definitely a lot of perks and benefits to it. Now many of us heard the cliche before clothes do make a man mm -hmm. and I look at clothes as sort of a costume so to speak or a form of nonverbal communication right. to convey whatever kind of look whether it's professional or casual uh, can you talk a little bit about that? Uh, I definitely think that clothes make a man or a woman um, because I feel, you know, we, we say a lot in the phrase, don't judge a book by its cover, but really the cover is what's going to excite you to read the book. Um, so it is definitely, people see you before they hear you. So before you even open your mouth, before you've had a chance to introduce yourself, people have already made up in their mind, whether they realize it or not, what they think of you based upon what they see. Uh, if that's the case, then we wouldn't have to dress professionally in any atmosphere, whether it be an interview or a party or uh, even funerals or church. There have been these uh, criteria or the criteria that we have for how we need to look and present ourselves based upon this setting we're in. So it absolutely is uh, a fact that clothes do make us, whether we want to agree with it or not, um, it's there for a purpose and we have transitioned in our mind and we have this mindset that what we see is what we feel we're going to get. And so, you know, of course, sometimes we are surprised because we can't judge a book by its cover all the time. But in most cases, what you see is a reflection of how that person feels. You can tell when somebody's down or upset based upon how they're dressed. You can tell if someone is motivated or excited or going to a business meeting based upon what you see. So I totally agree with that, that clothes do make a man. Interior design, that is a part of your offering which you offer some of your clients. Mm -hmm. uh, now when I was growing up, I always thought a nice house was a big house. Uh, but as I got older and matured a little bit, I understood that it's not just about square footage. It's Sorry. about how you lay it out. Mm -hmm. It's about uh, your furniture, your choices of your colors, your different materials. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. That's really the key to it. It's not about, it's about doing what you can with the space that you have in any space. I mean, I've walked into houses that are, are large, but because the decor wasn't right, you didn't get that feeling. Home should feel like home. It should bring a euphoric feeling when you walk in the door because that's the place where you can escape from work, where you can escape from everything that's going on outside. So it is important, colors, Colors, we don't realize, but in everything, in clothing and in home decor, colors play a lot um, in the way that we feel and how comfortable we may feel. Uh, when you walk into a room that has earth tones and dark oranges or browns, you automatically feel relaxed and calm and neutral. If you walk into a room that has bright orange paint, you're gonna feel excited or vibrant. So it is absolutely not about the space you have, but it's what you do with that space and realizing that you can do it on a budget. Um, it's very simple. It's just a matter of um, having a clear idea and a clear concept of what it is that you want it to look like and how you want it to make you feel. Everything that you do, and you do various different things for your clients. What is your passion? Like, what what, what do you like the best to do? Everything? 
You know, that's a, a hard question to ask and I get asked that question a lot. Uh, but my passion is being able to offer life services. And when I say that, I mean being able to bring in a client and not just offer them fashion consulting, but being able to totally be active in all of their life. So if it's planning their birthday party or their wedding, I'm planning their birthday party and wedding, but I'm also styling them for it. And after they're married, they're going to need someone to come in and set up their house for them and give them home decor. So it's really about going from not just one particular service, but being passionate to being able to really transform and transition somebody's life to be everything that they need, again, from their clothing to how they feel, to their home, to their event, or even branding themselves personally or in business. So my passion is really being able to take in a client and be consistently with them, them in any part of their life. I like to talk a little bit about your book. Okay. Uh, what I liked about the book personally is that it gave the common person the impression that they didn't have to be a wealthy mm -hmm. uh, superstar right. or, or celebrity to live uh, a nice lifestyle. Absolutely. Can you talk a little bit about your book? That's really the concept behind the book. Um, realizing, uh, I talk in the first chapter in the introduction that that's where I found myself. Uh, back a few years, I was you know, upset or depressed because I felt like I had so much I wanted to do. I wanted to live a certain life. I wanted my home to look a certain way. I wanted to be successful, but I realized that I didn't always have the resources based upon what I saw on TV or in magazines to make me feel like I would achieve that. And so I had to make a decision. I could either stay upset or I could use what I had around me, use the resources I had, and use the talents I had to bring what I thought would be a happiness, successful life to myself. I mean, that's really what I talk about through the book, and I use my personal experiences in each of the chapters to show you that, you know, you may not be the Kardashians, or you may not be Beyonce and Jay-Z, but there's something that you have inside of you. There's something that is around you, wherever you are, that you can live a life of style and detail, and that's the mantra behind the book is, live your life with style and detail, whether you're in a studio apartment or whether you're in a six-bedroom house. Anything that you can do to bring euphoria, to bring excitement, to bring style and detail, use what's around you and make the best of it.